Hey guys, Joe Moss Jr. here, and I'm going to explain to you how to get the Nexus 4G modems on the Epic 4G without even using Odin, which everyone hates. This works, well my method works with every modem pretty much really. You can do the Nexus 4G modem, you could do the Epic modem. I have a bunch in my thread which is right there so let's begin first off you want to reboot into recovery and while we're waiting I'll just explain how this goes you reboot into recovery and there's a special modem that you flash, or not modem, but a special kernel that you flash and it's a, a pretty much a Nexus 4G kernel or not kernel but a patched kernel and it allows you to install a modem to the modem area pretty much alright so let's begin let me get closer you go to install a zip And you go to one of the patch or one of the kernels I provided. I'm gonna do the shadow one, and you click on that, and it will install. And it just installed it. And then after that, you're gonna go to advanced reboot recovery, and it's going to reboot into the recovery that was flashed on the kernel, which should be like 6.007. One of the, oh well, no, this one's 6.011. And then you go to install zip. And then you just pick out the modem. I'm gonna pick out which modem do I want? The FC19 modem. It's, or, yeah, I'm just showing the FC19 modem. And it says right there, install FC19 modem. And if it's all right, it should say writing radio. Which then means that it's actually going to write the FC19 modem over to the Epic 4G. And now that it's done writing, I'll reboot. It'll say I won't have service because I'm on a patch CM9. Uh, kernel that allows the Nexus 4G modem. <clears throat> so, just giving you a fair heads up. This is the new CM10 boot animation, by the way. You can get it over at the CM10 thread. I posted a zip to it. It's pretty cool looking. And see, it says I don't have service up here. It has an X. Never said the Wi Fi. It won't say which modem I'm on because of the patch, but I'm on the FC19 modem. So, and that's really all you have to do. If you're starting off from an Epic modem and Epic kernel, Flash the custom kernel, and then after that you should be fine. Flash the modem, and then go ahead and flash any ROM you want to with the patched uh, kernel for that modem to allow the Epi or the Nexus 4G modem to be on there. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's it's really simple. It's easy to do, and uh, go over to my thread on XDA developers. Uh, credits people who helped me was Xbox Fan J. You can see him right there. His thanks meter's pretty high up there. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for downloading and thanks for helping out. All right, I'll see you later.